Hello world ones. I've just spent a beautiful night under the mountain. I've come back to the car to switch my overnight bag for a day bag and now it's time to head on up. So if you didn't see the previous video, Trafan is 917 meters and I'm going to be going up by the Heather Terrace route. So still quite a hard route. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get up it. Um, looks a bit hairy, but I'll give it a go. I'm about 430 meters at the moment and this is a really fun mountain it's all scrambly already and it's a beautiful day you can see Japan in the background it is nine o'clock in the morning so I've got the whole day ahead of me and it's really nice actually nice and chill loving it So here's where I took a left and headed up what I thought was the Heather Terrace. However, I'd taken a route that was about 10 metres to the right of the Heather Terrace. And while that doesn't sound like a lot, it's actually much higher. It's sort of somewhere between the North Ridge and the Heather Terrace. And it will take me a little while to realise that I'm on the wrong path. So this bit is unnerving me a little bit because <laughs> it's so loose. The height is getting to me a bit now, but I just remind myself that I don't feel like I'm going to fall off a cliff if I fall at the moment but it is steep and it's loose rock now as well just really taking my time so I've been going too high and heading towards the north ridge which is not what I want even though that's a much shorter direct route I'm not up for that, so I'm backtracking a little bit to find a way back onto the Heavy Terrace.
you can see now all those mountains. Down there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's the summit. I can't believe I did it. I'm just down from the summit. I'm gonna go down the other side of the mountain now. And apparently it's like a scramble all the way down, but no big drops or anything. So amazing. It's just been so incredible. I absolutely loved it. And I can't believe how much more confident I am with the height and the exposure than I was on Watkins. So yeah, just unbelievable. I am back down from the mountain all in one piece apart from a scuffed up knee and holes in my shorts how amazing was that absolutely incredible Trafan is amazing what a magical crazy mountain it's just insane like when I arrived here yesterday and even when I looked at pictures of it and of the roots and stuff I just thought I will never be able to do that a million years and then I thought the weather was going to be rubbish and I just didn't think anything that happened this weekend was actually going to happen and it's just been amazing so you never know. I met some amazing people on the mountain today. I always do actually because mountain folk are incredible. So shout out to the group of four along the heather terrace. We kept crossing paths. You guys were awesome. Thanks to the various people that I asked about routes and your opinions and stuff. That was really useful. Shout out to Marcus and his son Ollie who have just done the North Ridge. That is amazing. It was really nice to meet you guys up there. And hi to Dan and his son, Ben, who I met at the summit. Dan is also a YouTuber. 
his YouTube channel is The Adventures of Dan and Madge. It's really great to meet you guys. And a shout out to the dad with his 10 year old son coming down from one of the gliders. Um, I don't know what your name was, but your little boy looked amazing coming down there. And I just think that's really cool that you take him out on these adventures. So Trafan is not a mountain I would start with if you're not used to heights and exposure and mountains in general, but it really is a really interesting, really enjoyable, and entertaining way to climb a mountain. I really loved it. The Heather Terrace, although it is the least hard way up the mountain, is still really challenging. Um, there's some really steep drop-offs and exposure, lots of scrambling, and some quite hairy bits actually. Not easy by any means, but very enjoyable. So I'll just show you quickly where I went on the map. On my crazy old falling to bits map. Okay, so this morning we started here on the A5, went through this campsite, uh, came up here. I mean, this is all fairly simple and then it gets quite steep there. And I was supposed to go straight up the Heather Terrace, but I ended up sort of halfway between the North Ridge and the Heather Terrace. And that is quite sketchy. It's loose, scree, a lot of scrambling, really steep and exposed, but I did all right with it, you know, so. I could have just carried on. I think I got to about there. So really I could have just gone straight to the smoke, but I didn't know what this bit was gonna be like. So I backtracked, got back onto the Heather Terrace, went all along here. And then, yeah, there's like a gully here. And this gully here is a little bit sketchy actually. And then it's all scrambling up to the top. And that's quite hard going, but really good fun. And then on the way down, go down the south, and then turned down this little path down to this little lake here. Krim Butch did. Yep, that's the one. And then walked from there down here back to the A5 and then back down the A5 to where we started. So yeah, really nice circular. Loved it. Thank you so much everyone for watching. This has been awesome. I'm off home now because I need to sleep and I will see you guys soon. Take care, bye.